dream daddy. So I think we're gonna go for Robert and Brian because we already had a little thing with Robert and Brian doesn't have to know. And I would have one-up him. I walk over. Oh, he already has whiskey in his hand. I walk over to Robert and Brian. They're chatting over drinks, determined not to be weird about what happened last night. Hope Robert feels the same way. He hasn't called me back or turned any of my Twitter messages. I don't know why. Hey, hey, guys. Hey. Clara, I love you, Brian. <laughs> Clara. Any man who uses that many exclamation points is a good man. How the heck are you? Settling in the neighborhood all right? Oh, I've already made a fort in my house. You wanna come over? Oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order at least. That's great to hear because I was deaf and now I'm not. It's amazing. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got that 50 inch and the pro. You can watch Game of Thrones in high def. The game looks great in high def. The Game of Thrones looks great in high def. Clara, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, no, I haven't had the pleasure. I mean, what? No, I haven't had the bedroom. I mean, uh, bar. I mean, whiskey. I mean, yes, I believe we met him. <laughs> Briefly. Oh, that's not awkward silence. That's awkward beer. Ha! Hey, Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Chug, 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 chug. Ugh. Hi, Clara. <laughs> Robert robotically extends a hand. Oh my gosh, she's a robot. I'm a Terminator. I'll go with you. I shake his hand and he stares unblinkingly into my eyes. Oh my gosh, what does this mean? <laughs> How's it going? It's good. Like you. Ah! Robert focuses on the whiskey he's holding and takes another long sip. Chug, chug. Hey, look at my friends becoming friends. Us dads gotta stick together, you know. Oh, I know, Brian, I mean, what? Us dad? Robert has a kid. I didn't know you had kids. <laughs> Robert continues to stare. Yeah, we haven't met Robert's kids. Jeez, does he blink ever? Yeah. C cool, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool. I, I, I so, sorry, I'm, I'm cool. Stands incredibly uncomfortable in silence for several moments until... We gotta get off this haunted truck! Oh, they're doing ice from truckers! <laughs> oh, no, the ghost locked the doors! <laughs> And Daisy run up to us. Thank God. Ah. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. I forgot her voice. I'm gonna go with the high pitch one. But the truck still have emergency escape Aww. buttons. Oh, then hit the brake, I guess. Then we'll get out of this truck. Ah. <laughs> An imaginary truck. Anyway, we're safe from the ghost, but I don't know how we'll ever survive the Arctic tundra. Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'll chop off my arm. Oh, you have to fillet it though. I mean, it's like medium rare. That's the best cut to me now. I'm not prepared to do anything. Just wrap. Huh. And the wow, she pulls out a shotgun. Oh my gosh, why well, I like you even more, Dad? That's cold blooded. I like it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure I have the materials you required to probably cook you. I mean, uh, his uh, Chef Gordon Ramsay. I don't have Himalayan soldiers some oregano, but you know. <laughs> Wait a second, you guys. Playing? Long well, no, I struck out. Oh my gosh, you just got even more better. Yeah. Amanda and I love that show. And I love you. I mean, what? I didn't say nothing. That's the best, especially the show where Cal would put the keys in. Flinter, oh, this is my dream scenario. Flinter retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirits after him. That's quality reality television. Oh, Kim Kardashian, step off, we got ghosts. Casper, the friendly Kardashian, here we go. All right, Daisy and I found a couple of bugs. We're gonna make great meals. Lots of protein. Gotta keep us surviving in the harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over there. Ah! Daisy, this is a great game. We're playing pretend. That's what kids do. The little man, live a little, eat the grass over. Manny gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms on the stack table. Then they eat them with the mocking disgust. Let's go get them on fire! Okay, kids, arsony is at the neighbor's house, not ours. Okay, good. I love them so much. Oh, Robert walked away. Was it me? Was it you? It was probably me. Gosh dang it! That's okay. We got Plan Dad here to comfort us with a big old hug. But not an actual fire. Oh, Amanda, you pyromaniac. Go have fun. Go. Here's a lighter. Here's a pair of scissors. Now go running. Go, go, go. Because we're playing pretend. Hey. Now you're getting into it. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. And hey, Brian, it's just me and you. Oh, well, the kids have gone away. Now the mice will play. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I turn my attention back to the conversation. But wait, where did Robert go? Yeah, you left. I skim the party and finally find him in a corner talking to Mary. Does he not want to talk? Oh, man, I've never seen her get along so quickly. I snap out of my Robert-induced hate. Leather jackets, what? Uh, hi. <laughs> I guess Amanda sort of has away with kids. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice to hear he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have regular friendship after all. Regular one-upping friendship! It's like, also, I have this one-up mushroom. I don't know where I got it from. Really? <laughs> she kind of keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends her every recess in the library. I think other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. I mean, she says love you, saw, not love you, sir. I mean, I don't know what that means, but hey. There it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time I took her to her restaurant. She bit people, too. She's a bit of an animal. <laughs> Bart Wolf. <laughs> Oh, kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. I tried. I tried. <laughs> well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. Yeah, that'd be nice. But I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some rest of the other fellas. Okay, now we're going to talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Um. Oh, that was a lot of hums at one time. Huh? Hi, boys. This is so nice. They're all getting along. Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense conversation. Craig looks. I walk over to say hello. 
Well, I don't think that's fair just to compare two art movements like that. Parents don't exist because they're unique byproducts of social and political climate. As I'm trying to sound smart, but I can't understand any of these words. At the time and the place, I try to make sense of all this. Like, you say Rocco period to compare it to a postmodern America. You completely disregarded the context of the work of art you created. I like beer. Okay. Man, you guys seem to be so busy that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Let's talk to Craig, because I don't want to get in that intellectual discussion and be like, I like Pokemon, my favorite Pokemon, Squirtle. <laughs> I'm like, no, Charmander is superior. And it's like, no, Bulbasaur, and then we get into that. <laughs> anxiety. But anyway, I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more attentive to my existence. How's your system training going the other day? Great, Little River here's a great cheerleader. Aren't you tiny bro? Ah! Can I call him tiny bro? Tiny Rick! Tiny River! <laughs> Craig grabs her his arms and waves it around. Dad, stop it! This is humiliating! I will destroy you! <laughs> You can do it, Dad! I'm so proud of you! I'm sorry for pooping on you! She must be a handful at her age. Oh. Always talk about me. Oh, anyway, yeah, River, she poops all the time. It wasn't me. I didn't poop in the woods. You did. <laughs> oh, they always are. Hey. But it's worth it. Craig grabs your hand and waves it around again. I will destroy you, Tiny Man! Oh, milk! Ajo, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad! How are you settling in? Is that the baby talking or you? I'm still confused! Almost done! There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled in. But I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. We did livable throughout the entirety of college. Heck yeah, bro, ramen! <laughs> yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing and a palate cleanser between different types of pizza. But she still does, though. <laughs> hey, she takes after her dad. Clara, how are you liking the neighborhood? Oh, you, you noticed me said by hi. Clara, how are you liking the neighborhood? Pretty good, I'm sorry. It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. <laughs> Seems like your daughter's fitting in just fine. Matt points, where did you go? Why are all the good guys going away? <laughs> Matt points across the yard where Amanda and Daisy are, and another young girl are playing. They're sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and- Oh, and weaving them into flower crowns. They're tumblers. But this is pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over hey. to us. Oh, it's his girl! Yeah, we haven't met, like, any of these guys' kids yet. What is it, sweetheart? Um, I'm from the 90s, Dad. Do you see my perm and glasses? It's your flower crown. I thought you looked cute. Oh, Tumblr go nuts! Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, my gosh! He places the flower crown on top of his uh -oh. head. I'm oh, so hoping that would draw it in. Yes! Now I really must be dreaming. Okay, am I cool now, bro? You're always cool. I love you. Sorry, what? I couldn't hear you over your hotness. Oh! The girl stares at him, thinking it over. You can make it work. Um, no, but you're slightly less uncool as you were before you put it on. Oh, oh is it hot here? Because you just got roasted. Oh, hey, Clara, that's my daughter. Hello. I'm Kamitsuna. I hope I pronounced that right. Amanda comes over with Daisy in tow. They actually have a toe in their hand. I think they cut it off, but you know what? Whatever. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. I'm sorry, I'm making friends. I'm not doing it. Don't hit me. Yeah, actually, Amanda. You remember this cool barista from the coffee shop and my uh, cool college friend and uh, your teacher? Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize you were our neighbor. Oh. Yeah, you're still going to get to me on that overdue term paper. <gasps> <laughs> Great seeing ah, I love Amanda. <laughs> Great seeing you. Reject him. Amanda, finger guns your way out of the conversation like a chip. <laughs> I'm cooler than you. She learned the finger gun move from me. So proud. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Oh, we're gonna be inside! Sweet man Chago! What did he just say? I don't know! Sweet man Chago? Okay! He looks around the party, he must have spotted him because his eyes go, what? Sweet man Chago! What is he saying? Sweet man Cheetos! I love Cheetos! Ernest! Ernest having way man! Oh my gosh, he didn't! Okay, what are you smoking? Ah! Pot day! Ernest is holding a lit stick. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be, is it gonna be the goth kid? No. See, Ernest across the way casually takes along a drag of the cigarette and then flicks it in the gutter. Um. Oh, gnarly, unbelievable. Excuse me. Oh, I thought it's gonna be the goth kid for him, which I would not expect. I turned my attention to Matt and Craig, so that guy's got a weird kid. Anyway, I'm like, your kid, how you doing? Kids, right? Matt, I do not envy Hugo. Last barbecue, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Oh, he only burned down half the yard and half of Joseph. <laughs> and the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. <laughs> and then it spread to my lawn and burned half of my lawn. Uh, oh, he's radical. Oh, man, I'm so cool. Look at my mustache. I'm preteen. I have puberty. It sucks. But anyway, yo, are you a cop? You're not a cop. Here, take some of this. What is this flower? He walks over here, frantically dragging Ernest behind oh. him. Oh. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that, Claret. This is my son, Ernest, but not for long. Hello. <laughs> Ernest looks away. Sorry. Uh, you're out of my league. Oh, uh, and you're also a dad, so I can't date you. Sorry. I'm gonna go tag a building. Dad, where's my spray paint? In the garbage. Oh, that's where my dreams went, too. I'm gonna go dig through there. Uh, good conversation, kid. He go nudges him impatiently. Hey, it's for horses, but cross is freaking cheaper. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? 
Does it matter? Does the world matter? What is life? What is existence? 42? That's the answer to everything. You should think about life, man. I'm Pickle Rick. The real Pickle Rick. Ugh. I like this kid. Ernest? Okay, I'm in eighth grade. Gosh, you happy now? Oh, I'm sure you're dying to know. Also, I have a girlfriend. Her name's Becky, and she's some imaginary girlfriend. Shut up, Dad! Oh, uh, yeah, good good for you. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame their generation for failing economy! Ernest! Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Yeah, well, you totally are, dickweed. <laughs> Ernest puts his earbuds in and swears off of the court. He's listening to something called ska. I don't know what it is, but, man, I heard it was cool once. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. He seems to <laughs> He go puts his head in his hands and sighs. Uh, he looks like Kenny from South Park. <laughs> I am so sorry. He's really having a rough time. Puberty, am I right? I mean, as much as I want to be that cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad because that's totally a word. And he clearly resents me for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. Right. Not because he wants your suede jacket. I want your suede jacket. But anyway, I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher, that is about as authoritarian as cute kid guy. <laughs> Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is that even possible to be a cool dad? I think I'm a cool dad. I know what Mimi's are. I know what dad boy is. What? I'm cool. Co sorry. Co Cool as a cucumber! See that right there? You can't say that! Oh, I'm sorry! My kids think I'm cool, but for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be cool down? Day? A month? A year? Christmas? That's it! That's like Christmas present! I, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna go call my mom! I think we're just gonna have to accept the fact that as dads, we become the machine we once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment, the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed! Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool! I yell across the yard to my daughter, Amanda, I'm cool, right? That's Amanda! Sick! Amanda laughs and she keeps laughing! I see your point. As much as we all want, I don't think it's important to be as a cool dad as a good dad. He got my book. We can't all be best friends with our kids, but it just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Ernest. Uh. I mean, he's freaking Kenny from South Park. Our job as parents is to ensure our kids turn out okay. Good enough. B minus. Yeah, you're right. But be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes you think about my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might be a time where it comes where we don't be like that. College. Is college when it happens? Hey, yeah. Harvard, here she doesn't go. Don't let us see if your time, Clara, and your sanity, but go meet some other people around the neighborhood. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next time we'll go talk to Joseph and Damien. But holy crap, that was a really intellectual conversation, a really sad conversation. I, I'm cool. We're cool dads, right? We're hip with the kids. We're gnarly, radical, yeah. But anyway, if you guys like this game and want to play more games like it, please like the little house and like it. Hope you guys play more games like it. Also, don't forget to comment down below another game you like playing. I will do it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this clear. I'm just signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.